Hello Heartland fans, how is everything going on? Welcome back to our channel, Upcoming Show. In the previous video, we looked how Emmy and team confronted Grady in their own style and how Jack gave his soldier to Emmy. That was the review of first part of 7th episode of Heartland. If you have not watched it yet, its link is in the description below. Now let's do a recap of second half of Heartland 15 episode 7. In this episode, Jessica was quite busy handling team emotionally to welcoming the new guests in the ranch. Lou was quite busy due to her office work and she also had to attend a special meeting. So she requested Jessica to take care of everything in their house. Jessica asked Katie and Parker to clean up the dude ranch for the guest. Apparently, which they did very beautifully. The guest turned out to be Gladys Adderley, a travel photographer, bot influencer with over 20,000 followers and Rick's mother. Rick had given his home for maintenance and renovations and until his house is ready to leave, his mother had to stay there with the Fleming Bartlett family. But Glady found difficulty in staying there as she was habituated of living a sophisticated lifestyle. This was also a problem for Jessica, so to manage the comfort of her guests, she really had her work cut out for her. Luckily, the bar life around the dude ranch seemed enough to put Gladys in a better mood. However, that posed another challenge for Jessica. Lou had promised Gladys a sighting of a mountain bluebird, a species of bird that's very rare to the area. And since Gladys had already hyped it up to her followers on social media, now Jessica had to deliver. Again, the best people for the job were the assistants of Jessica, Katie and Parker. Jessica asked the two teens to find a mountain bluebird nest on the heartland property so she could show it to Gladys on their board watching trail ride in two days time. At first, Parker and Katie informed that there are several nests near Okotoks, however, it would be pretty hard to find one in Horson. But that wasn't good enough to Jessica, so she told Katie and Parker that if they wanted to get the promised $20 bonus, they had to find a nest on the property. Parker thought that it's impossible, yet Katie wasn't giving up so the two girls spent the day bird watching and searching for mountain bluebirds and their efforts paid off. On the day of the trail ride, Parker and Katie managed to not only impress Gladys by showing her a mountain bluebird nest but while searching for the bluebird, they had come across several other species of the birds that were of interest of Gladys. In this episode, Tim and Amy were not the only ones with fluctuated emotions, even Parker had to deal with her feelings. Parker seemed moody and was getting annoyed for no reason. When Katie asked the reason, she did not give the answer. While birdwatching to try and find the mountain bluebird on the ranch property, Parker finally opened up to Katie as to why she is upset. Parker told Katie that she had thought that Logan asked her to go to Tim and Jessica's place with him at the start of the last episode, which wasn't the case. And Parker was also embarrassed that Logan only danced with her at the party because Jade asked him to. Luckily, Katie was there for her. Here is their conversation. Katie said, Logan seems alright, but he has nothing on you. You are smart and funny. You take on all these causes because you actually care about stuff that's bigger than yourself. Logan may not know it yet, but you are a very rare bird, Parker Yang. This video is made with the help of tvsopilot.com. That's it for today guys. If you like our content, like our video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notification.